John, I've got to get out in front of your research note. Will you amend your targets this weekend for Monday trading? No, we, we won't amend our, our target. And I think, you know, our call all along is that the inf inflation is going to be stickier at a much higher level. And we've been recommending companies that benefit from higher inflation. So there's two ways of thinking about this. Today's report is bad for the market in general, but there are certain companies that hold up better or worse in a higher inflation environment than others, and that's right. what we're focusing. John Gallup, what's so important to me here is the behavior and I don't mean to hearken back to the fossildom that I am in the 1970s, but let's look at the deck of cards. We've got the worst bond market since time began, price down, yield up. We've got these inflation numbers today, the Fed parlor game that we're going to see out to the end of the year. What do you and the Credit Suisse Securities Research Team feel corporations will do? In my estimation, they have to rapidly act even into June and July and make the plans that they thought they would make come October. Am I right on that? You know, Tom, I, I don't think you are right on that. I, okay. I think that I, I think that companies in a very high nominal GDP environment, which is what we have, the underlying ec economy, for all the recession concerns, uh, is, is fine. Um, revenues are rip-roaring strong, and so bigger companies in this environment have tended to do a bit of a better job of being able to main, uh, maintain costs. But profits are really high. The thing which is getting smacked around, Tom, are the stock multiples, not the earnings. And that's important to think about. So what kind of multiple do you think is right for this market, especially if the Fed has a terminal rate of 3.5%? Well, first of all, I, I think that the Fed is going to, and, and I think this is going to lead the dialogue, that this, this conversation that we were having over the last couple of weeks, can the Fed pause in September? Well, we know that the answer to that now is no. Um, and the Fed probably has to move beyond 3.5%. Um, but we still have a, you know, we have a very powerful um, earnings environment. The revisions, the, you know, the kind of the analyst adjustment to the earnings, with all the discussion that we've been having about weak earnings, they're going up almost every day. So um, we, we think that yeah. the market. So how much oversold. should how much should what? investors be paying for forward earnings? Uh, you know. If you, if you look at a corporate bond yield, which is what your discount rate, it's not Fed funds. It's still, you know, still something like 5%, which is a low number. So we think that stocks are attractively valued at these levels, and we would be going in. The, the level of concern in the market is, we think, is much higher than the, than the <clears throat> underlying backdrop. Uh, CIBC reported, and this is Catherine Judge reporting from CIBC Toronto. And folks, I think this really sums it up. CIBC calls this inflation report red hot, and they go, Matt Miller, right to the heart of the matter, which McKee alluded to, which is shelter is the most gain since 2004. We've been uh, highlighting this today, folks, from Senator Manchin's Charleston, West Virginia, to Senator Miller's uh, a suburb north of New York. I mean, Matt Miller, this is nothing that anybody already knows. We are aware of this. I mean, if you look at the, what's it called? The S&P CoreLogic Case-Shiller, we should really ask Bob to shorten that. If you look at their 20-city index um, right. and max it out, out, we're at a level that towers over what we saw in 2004, 2005. So in terms of the absolute level, it's right. just unbelievable the amount of appreciation you've seen in house prices. John Gallup with Credit Suisse with us here. John, you, you talk about the animal spirit of nominal GDP, but at 8.6% headline, is there a point where the inflation price change part of nominal absolutely overwhelms actual economic growth you know it, it's it, <laughs> that that's like the the ultimate the ultimate question the the like like i said before the earnings are, are fine the stock multiple is in five multiple points is a decline in stock multiples this year today's 
news taken by itself should push the multiple down. The market, you know, the futures are down something like one and a quarter percent on this news. That is perfectly, that's exactly what you'd expect to happen. But the market has already, you know, adjusted, you know, enormously for this inflation environment. So I think that the market probably is, has taken all the bad news into account already, which is one of the reasons why I'm not as concerned, not because this isn't a good report, but because the market's already discounted a ton of bad news. And most importantly, I, you know, a red hot, and you were just talking about the CIBC report, a red hot economy does not equal recession. And this is a red hot economy, not a recessionary economy. John Gallup, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate that. And we heard that from Michael Darda as well.